been the first time in a long while that you know we haven't had a Tuesday game and you've had a pretty much full week of training so how's that been? Uh, yeah great obviously we are needed a bit of rest I think and um, the the Tuesday Saturdays Saturdays are tough and, and certainly when you do do them back to back and we did a lot of them in January so nice to have a week of, of, of a bit more pitch time and we can look at sort of how we want to plan for Torquay so yeah of course it, it, it's got its benefits but then we've stood here before and talked about how it's good to do game after game and you get into a bit of a flow so I think we were in a bit of a bad flow in terms of the, the free game so a break period is um, is welcomed and, and gives us a bit of an opportunity to have a bit of a refocus and, and, and reset and, and go into sort of talk even with a bit more of a positive mindset. We spoke, you know, um, during last week about how, you know, um, Classy and Corey Jordan were, were two of those that kind of got a, a bit of a, a bit of a knock and had to miss out and sit on the bench against Dagenham because of, you know, the fatigue and the tiredness and, and we, we were missing Justin on um, Saturday. So if you tell us a bit more about Justin, but also is is that is, is that just a result of those Saturday Tuesdays where they just a bit you know fatigued? Yeah, I mean, muscles get tight and and, and players get um, a bit of awareness and certain, certain with regards to certain injuries. So Justin had a had a bit of um, uh, of a tight hamstring and, and and should 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 be should be ready to go Saturday. Um, obviously, he was he was a he was a big miss um, in the Barnet game and. Um, obviously, Josh came back in the Barnet game and, and, and was a little bit sore again with his hamstring the game before. So it, it's just a build up of games, and, and we're not the biggest squad. And um, again, again, we've got 17, 18 players, and we need to try and manage them and make sure should we can get the best players on the pitch. And we should be pretty close to that on Saturday um, and able to give it a right, uh, give, give it a real good go. So looking to Saturday, obviously, you know, Torquay are one of those teams around us, so it's going to be very important to get those three points, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, every game's important. We get three points, but of course, there's added added pressures and added focus on this due to the last three fixtures, I guess, and um, that's why it's important. It's more important that we bounce back. It's more important that we show some resilience and, and our ability to do that under my, while I've been here, has been really good. Um, I mean, you all the way back to the walking and sort of Notts County games, and there was a real low mood around here and around the around the fans, and we got that back, and we need to do the same again, and and, and not forget what what we did that got us there. So make sure we are focused on on what our performance looks like, um, listening to instructions and and following those instructions the best we can. Which uh, throughout the season we've been really good at those things, so it's just important to try and get it back, really. And looking back at when we visited Torquay, obviously I think we're going to be intent on getting a bit of revenge and setting the record straight a bit there, aren't we, after our show in there? Well, I mean, we were embarrassed at their place, um, so if we're going to look at it like that and um, use the word revenge or redemption or whatever, <laughs> but what's important is that, that they embarrassed us at their place and we need to show that we've learned from that and we need to show that we all... I don't mean necessarily we say we all the one, but we all the fans and, and we all ourselves... Um, that it, that we need to to give a real good go of it. I mean, they're they're a side who who picked up a little bit recently, and um, I know they've, they've lost the last few games. But the amount of teams we play who've lost the last few games, or play also when we've lost the last few games, and turn up and put a good performance in, you never know. So it's important that we're switched on, or focused. Like I said, we follow the game plan um, to a T, and if we do those things and we do those things at home in front of our our our, our home fans, then um, we'll, we'll we'll get what we deserve. Cheers, Ross. Cheers, Sam. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.